Hello students, we'll continue telecommunications and traffic. A mathematical model to obtain analytical solutions to tele-traffic problems, it is necessary to have a mathematical model of the traffic offered to telecommunication system. A simple model is based on the following assumptions. Pure chance traffic, statistical equilibrium. Pure chance traffic. The assumption of pure chance traffic means that call arrivals and call terminations are independent random events. Sometimes it is also called as Poissonian traffic. If call arrivals are independent random events, their occurrence is not affected by previous calls. Sometimes traffic is called as memoryless traffic. Statistical equilibrium. The assumption of statistical equilibrium means that the generation of traffic is a stationary random process. That is, probabilities do not change during the period being considered. Consequently, the mean number of calls in progress remains constant. Statistical equilibrium is not obtained immediately before the busy hour. When the calling rate is increasing, nor at the end of the busy hour when calling rate is falling. Last call systems are long determine the grade of service that is the loss probability of a lost call system having entrance when offered traffic A as shown in figure. The solution depends on the following assumptions. Pure chance traffic, statistical equilibrium, full availability, Calls encountered during congestion are lost. Traffic performance. If the offered traffic A increases, the number of trunks N must obviously be increased to provide a given grade of service. However, for the same trunk occupancy, the probability of finding all trunks BC is less for a large group of trunks can have a higher occupancy than a small one. That is, the large group is more efficient. This is shown by the, the figure. For a grade of for service 0 0.02, uh, that is one lost call is 500. For example, two airlongs of traffic requires 7 tons and their occupancy is 0.27 airlongs. However, 20 airlongs requires 32 uh, trunks and their occupancy is 0.61 airlongs. So, the total traffic in airlongs is taken along x-axis and the trunks required and average uh, traffic per trunk as shown in the figure. The penalty paid for the high efficiency of large group of trunks is that the grade of service deteriorates more with the traffic overloads than for small group of trunks. Figure shows the variation of grade of service with respect to offered traffic for different size of group which were all dimensioned to provide a GOS of 0.002 at their normal traffic load. For a group of 5 trunks, a 10% overload increases the GOS by 40%. However, for a group of 100 trunks, it causes the GOS to increase by 550%. 550%. So here we can see the effect of overload on a grade of service. So percentage overload along x-axis and a grade of service along x-axis. Y grade of service along y-axis, percentage overload along x-axis. Queuing system, the second airlong distribution. The queuing system is as shown in the figure. Here a traffic A is offered to a queuing system with N trunks. Here airlong determine the probability of encountering delay. Trunks are of, often called as servers. Airlong solution depends on the following assumption. Pure chance traffic, statistical equilibrium, full availability, calls which encounter congestion, enter a queue and are stored there until a server becomes free. Queues in tandem. Queuing system are connected in tandem. The delays are cumulative. If the first stage has a Poissonian input and a negative exponential distribution of holding times, the second subsequent stages are also Poissonian. Thus, the operation can be considered as independent for calculating the delays. 
the delay probability and the mean delay for the complete system or the sum of these for the individual stages. However, the probability distribution of such several random variables is obtained by convolution of the separate distributions. This computation is difficult, so it is usual to specify for each stage the probability of delay exceeding a given value and add these probabilities to obtain a measure of overall GOS. This will be pessimistic estimate because the probability of a long delay at more than one stage should be small. In telephone exchange and its switching network is a circuit switching system in an exchange with the registers when all registers are busy incoming calls are lost in queuing system uh, yeah, maybe switching system or packet switching system here if the outgoing tongues are busy messages or packets enter a queue until an uh, outgoing trunk becomes free